What is the ratio of the width to the height of the door at the right? And then we've got all these ratios for possible answers. So before we do any calculations, we need to remember that the way you read a ratio is, for example, the first one, 2 to 3. Right, This colon is a, read as 2. So 2 to 3. 1 to 2, right? So it's x to y, whatever it is. All right, so we want to find the ratio of the width to the height. So it's already worded so that we can answer it easily. So width to height. So the first number will be the width, right? This one is the width to the height. This second number is the height. So the first number should be smaller with most ratios and with this one the first number should be smaller and all of these have a smaller first number than the second number so that doesn't help us <clears throat> so we've got to calculate it so the ratio as it stands now is 27 to 81 that's not one of the answers clearly we need to reduce it now if you look at these two numbers 27 and 81 you and if you know your times table you know that 9 goes into both of these on this part of the test you can't use your calculator to see if 27 goes straight into 81 so you can just reduce it as much as you can by looking at the numbers so you see that 9 goes into both of them 9 goes into 27 three times and 9 goes into 81 nine times so it, it becomes 3 to 9, which still isn't on here because we can reduce it even further, right? Both of these numbers are divisible by 3. 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 9 divided by 3 is 3. So the answer is 1 to 3, the third choice. And you can double check that by writing out 81 divided by 27 and you'll see that once you calculate it that it goes into 81 three times but that's kind of a waste of time you can be pretty confident with this just by using common sense and thinking yeah this is about three times as wide as this right it wouldn't be one to two like if you look at a door think about a door it's more than twice as long as it is wide so that wouldn't work so this makes sense so instead of wasting all your time checking it like this you could just do the common sense test and think yeah this makes sense and save time and go to the next question